Transportation is critical to the smooth functioning of the public sector and the economy as a whole. Traditionally, transportation has been heavily reliant on fossil fuels, but that is beginning to change. Inspired by the goals of the Barbados National Energy Policy for the island to be powered by 100% renewable energy and to be carbon neutral by 2030, electric vehicles are being embraced by the public sector as an energy-efficient form of mobility. In 2015, the Energy Division in the Ministry of Energy, Small Business and Entrepreneurship jump-started government's drive towards energy-efficient transportation in the public sector by procuring two electric vehicles. Since then, the journey to full e-mobility has accelerated. The Ministry also implemented an electric vehicle pilot where we procured eight electric vehicles that are currently being used across government, um, various government departments, for example, the Ministry of Education and the Barbados Defence Force. And the reason for the pilot was to kind of test out how the vehicles will be used within the public sector context. We also assisted the Barbados Transport Board with their electrification of buses project and we would have procured two electric buses for public sector use. All in all, one of the things that we're seeking to do with this pilot was to understand better how we move forward and transition within government towards 2030 target. And to better understand and to plan how we move forward to 2030 target within the public sector, we would have undertaken an electric vehicle study where they would have done a comparative analysis between the electric vehicles currently in government, which are the vehicles we bought under the pilot, as well as transport boards, buses that we all see all um, know, and other government vehicles that are using traditional diesel and gasoline vehicles. And that comparative analysis would have assisted us in developing a roadmap in terms of how we will transition. But overall, we've noticed that you have as much as a 70% savings from using traditional vehicles and switching them over to electric. It cannot be hidden that we did not purchase any new buses since 2006. Fast forward now to 2020, and we are pleased to be able to introduce to the traveling public of Barbados the first electric public transit vehicles in this side of the Caribbean. We are pushing electric mobility, and that is because we have all agreed that traveling as we all know it to be needs to change. We need to reduce our carbon footprint and travel using cleaner energy so that the Barbados we are existing in and we're enjoying today is around for our children tomorrow. To this end, the government of Barbados made a decision that the Barbados Transport Board, which is the premier choice for public transport on the island, would be able to improve its traveling stock and we will be able to move the traveling public who have been suffering for an extended period. The public sector is leading the charge to electric mobility, setting the example for all energy champions to follow. Mm -hmm.